Konnichiwa. Salankam, guys. For years, I've always been ma marveled and awed by the mysteries of how successful entrepreneurs think. Much has been said about the cognitive abilities of successful entrepreneurs and with the advancements of imaging technologies, social scientists like me are now able to work together with neuroscientists in the labs to better understand what happens in real time in the entrepreneur's brain and how their thinking is processed. Now, ever since, scores of researchers have been shared to the public with a number of them scientifically justifying the notions of, among others, that entrepreneurs make decisions differently and to a certain degree rely on intuition or the gut feeling and that opportunity recognition is processed differently in the brains of entrepreneurs. I then stumbled across very captivating readings about the heart-brain concept and how this scientific notion is apparent in the Quran. My mind was focused on to knowing more and throughout my humble readings, I became more mesmerized. Never am I more excited to learn as much as I am now and never did I realize that the connection between heart, brain and entrepreneurship is as critical and unique as the role of building and sustaining civilizations whilst maintaining the wholesomeness and feeling of well-being and divineness of the creator. And I learned that a few years back, a small group of cardiovascular researchers joined a similar group of neurophysiologists to explore areas of mutual interest. This represented the beginning of the new discipline of neurocardiology, which has since provided critically important insights into the nervous system within the heart and how the brain and the heart communicate with each other. After extensive research, one of the early pioneers in neurocardiology, Dr. J. Andrew Armour, introduced the concept of functional heart-brain in 1991. His work revealed that your heart has a complex intrinsic nervous system that is sufficiently sophisticated, sophisticated to qualify as your little brain in your own right. Your heart's brain is an integrated network of neurons, neurotransmitters, proteins, support cells like those found in your brain. Your heart has an elaborate circuitry, circuitry enabling, enabling it to act independently of your brain to learn, remember and even feel and sense. And I kept reading and learned that neuroscientists have discovered that your heart has its own independent nervous system, a complex system referred to as the brain in the heart. And this brain in the heart has the ability to relay information back to your brain, creating a two-way communication system. And when your heart sends messages to your brain, your brain not only understands the messages, but also obeys them. Yes, one of the most captivating findings in a scientific lab is this. Our heart is so powerful, and we have never realized this, that it can force our brain to obey its commands. And then I thought, no wonder entrepreneurs are said to rely on intuition and gut feeling when making decisions and taking risks. And they are said to be highly passionate and enjoy freely what they do. And this has emerged as the main effective driving forces of successful entrepreneurship. Surely, Surely, this relates to the said heart-brain concept. Subhanallah. And I've never stopped reading since. I'll keep you posted, of course. Inshallah. See you. Matane.